गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड वंस अगेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई वीडियो दिस इज़ द वीडियो ऑफ क्लास सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंट मोड ऑफ इंजेशन न्यूट्रिशन इन ह्यूमन बींग दैट मीन्स वी हैड स्टार्टेड द न्यूट्रिशन इन ह्यूमन बींग दैट मीन्स वी आर स्टडिंग द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम हाउ आवर फूड दैट मीन्स वे आर डाइजेस्टिंग एंड we were just reading the components of the digestive system we had read that we are having a long uh, tube that is called the alimentary canal after that we had read about the uh, buccal cavity the buccal cavity uh, is having teeth tongue and salivary uh, salivary gland so uh, in the previous that means in the last thing we had read about the teeth so today we will start with the types of teeth that means how many uh, types of teeth we are having as we had already read in the previous one that that the function of teeth is to chew and crush the food that means uh, it will convert the food into simpler form it will just break the complex food into simpler one so we are having here the types of teeth so uh, just uh, just forget these things just come here here only it will be very cleared so just like we are having the teeth like this so just same the upper jaw and the lower jaw is that means the just the, they are uh, xerox copy of one another so we will just read the one part if we see the first four front teeth let me change the color hmm. if we see the first front teeth we will get that this one is called the incisor now what is the function of this incisor incisor helps to cut and bite the solid food just like if we bite a uh, apple so how we bite imagine we just bite with the our front teeth our front teeth bite and then they push that food into the back side so this four teeth are known as incisor now after the incisor that means this blue one and this blue and this blue so this blue is called canine so uh, that means in the upper jaw it is two and in the lower jaw it is two so the function of the canine we can say it hold and tear the food that means to tear the muscles uh, meat flushes all these things it helps in these things after the canine we are having this yellow part and this yellow part that means two this is called premolar now function of premolar is to crush the food that means it will just crush and grind that food so here we are having the function also crush and grind the food so premolars the, that means the function of the premolar is crush and grind the food just like when we eat food when we eat uh, muscle, uh, meat so what we do you just tear the meat from this this one but when we just tear that one after the tearing we just push that food in the back side and the back side teeth uh, that means sometime it will uh, crush sometime it will crush sometime then again it will push this side again it will push so this is the random we can't say that uh, this is just grinding and this is crushing no it's just random mm, that means they all uh, help with each other and they just crush and grind the food so the last one we are having the last three portion is the uh, it is called the molar now what is the function of the molar part the there is just only simple function of the molar that it just grind the food so if we count the number of the teeth so 3 is over here and 3 is over here 3 and 3 six in the lower jaw and six in the upper jaw so the number is 12 if we talk about the premolar so here to here to that means 4 over here and 4 over here 4 4 8 8 if we talk about the canine part so 2 is over here and 2 is over here so 4 and 
if we talk about the incisor four here and four here so eight so if we count 12 plus 8 20 20 plus 4 24 and 24 plus 8 its total is 32 so remember students one thing that uh, that means the uh, it, in the book also you will get that there are 32 teeth but at the time of teenager or adult also we don't have 32 teeth if you um, move in front of your mirror if you count you will not get 20, uh, 32 teeth maybe you will get just 28 teeth i think the student of standard 7 all you all are having 28 teeth if you are having more than 28 teeth you can challenge me i will challenge that uh, that means not more than 24 you are having so the next we are having the tongue so what is this tongue tongue means what we uh, hear what we in hindi what we call jeeb so what is the function of the tongue there actually tongue is helps to test that means whatever the test the food is containing salty either it is sweet either it is bitter sour whatsoever the test the tongue is helps to taste now it is made up of you can say uh, muscular organ in, and it attached to the floor of the buccal cavity and from one end that means from this end it is very very free so we can move this tongue in all direction so uh, i have already told you all this point that it consists of four type of test bird salty sweetie sour and bitter now <clears throat> taste bird helps us to taste the food tongue rolls the food into a ball which shallowed and pushed into the long tube called the food pipe just imagine one thing if i uh, tells the name that rasgulla so if somebody is telling that today you will eat that this, this rasgulla so what happens right now only the mouth will uh, started watering if somebody is telling that today you will have the chicken chili from right now only the that means that the something the watery substances will come in the mouth so this is the salivary gland that means this is the function of the tongue that means the saliva comes out from the tongue so a flap like structure called epiglottis is present in the buccal cavity so i'm not having the okay let me see the structure there is one structure ah, this one so here is one epiglottis epiglottis that means it is just like a lid dhakkan type okay so in the pipe there is a epiglottis so this epiglottis that means it closes the windpipe so uh, while we eat the food it will close the windpipe and we will just eat the food but if we talk while having food so what happens in the windpipe the food will enter and we will choke <clears throat> so these things are written over here so let me see the other part now uh, let's see the function of the tongue so senses the food a uh, taste of the food so we taste uh, since the taste of the food remove food particles trapped in the teeth so it also help in the removing the food particles that is trapped in the food while we in the just like in this season we are eating the mango so a lot of uh, that means particles of the mangoes are just stuck in the so it, the tongue is also uh, tongue is helping to remove that particles the next one move food around in the mouth the tongue helps in the that means movement of the food in the mouth help in processing of swelling it's also help in the process of swelling that means that means nigal jana mix the saliva with the food and helps in speaking if you don't have teeth you will not be able to speak so Teeth, uh, that means tongue is very very essential part for the voice so yeah if you don't have tongue you can't speak so the tongue part is completed now we are not completed almost that means but the last part is over here that means the other part that is the salivary gland so what is the salivary gland 
टच द टंग इज हैविंग अ स्लाइवरी दैट मीन्स इट इज अ ग्लैंड सो वॉट इज अ ग्लैंड अ ग्लैंड इज अ थिंग दैट दैट मीन्स सिक्रेट्स इट्स इंजाइम और सिक्रेट इट्स मटेरियल्स ओके डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड बिगिन्स इन द माउथ ऑफ द द माउथ द माउथ कंटेन थ्री पेयर ऑफ स्लाइवरी ग्लैंड दिस ग्लैंड सिक्रेट स्लाइवा a liquid secretion which keeps the mouth wet so what i have told uh, i have told you in the previous thing the about the food if we imagine some food that means the mouth will watering if we and that means when we just stand in front of a gupchup the uh, stall of a gupchup so what happens at that time only our mouth started watering so this is not a uh, water actually it's saliva okay so uh, Beside water, saliva also contain an enzyme, an important secretion which assists in digestion called ptyrin. So ptyrin is the enzyme that helps in digestion, or it is secreted by the salivary gland. Saliva is secreted in the mouth even before the food enters. So I have told you all this. So this is the reason your mouth salivates at the thought or smell of the food when we get the smell of the food or with we, we are thinking of the food our mouth mouth gets watering so here small points are there so this is the function of saliva saliva break down the starch that means the complex carbohydrate into simpler form this is very very important what do saliva do saliva breaks the complex carbohydrate that means we can say while the food is just in the mouth our food is started digesting and which part of the food is just digested in the mouth that is called the carbohydrate or we can say the starch part hence a piece of a tasting sweet after chewing and mixing with the saliva so I, let me see it's i can't see the ha huh. hence a piece of bread starts tasting sweet after chewing and saliva uh, mixing with the saliva so if you take a piece of bread we we just taste that it's uh, that means the taste of that bread become sweeter in the mouth so the reason is the saliva now the next point is saliva protects our mouth and teeth from bacterial infection so if the bacteria are entering into our mouth or whatsoever the, the enter, it is entering into into our mouth it is just sticking in the mouth part only it is not moving down side it makes the chewed food soft and slippery so that it is easy to swallow so <clears throat> just like if you are crushing something so if you will uh, that means you will see that if we are just crushing that dry it will be hard it that it will be difficult but if we add some water if we add some liquid so it will be very easy just like in our food if we, that means if the saliva mix it helps in digestion and it uh, make the food soft and slippery the second portion we are having the oesophagus so what is oesophagus if we see the previous this one so this pipe is known as oesophagus this is the food pipe that means in between that means it is starting from the neck and ending in the chest this pipe is known as oesophagus we can also say in easy word that is called the food pipe so it is 30 meter in long so in length it is 30 cm in length so uh, the, uh, that means after the mouth part the food is just uh, pushed downward and by a series called contraction and expansion by the muscles in the wall of the oesophagus these are pushed down so you will imagine that uh, if we are lying in a bed so at that time also if we eat food the food will go down if we are just hanging in a tree that means the um, head in the the head in the down side and the leg in the up side so in this case also if you eat the food the food will move this side so what is happening over here this is not a jadoo this is called the peristaltic 
movement that means the contraction and expansion creates a wave like movement in the esophagus and that push the food into the stomach the food moves along with the entire digestive tract through the peristaltic movement that this movement is called remember these things they are having the peristaltic movement so no digestion occur in the esophagus from the esophagus the food enter into the stomach so there is no digestion occurring over in the uh, esophagus the but the esophagus is just uh, is a pipe it's a way from the mouth to the stomach and i have told you all the function of the epiglottis so we have finished this thing in the i think uh, the today's topics are completed from tomorrow we will talk about the